let's go and take a look at the difference of factoring these three expressions. Now again, you can see they're all binomials, but this is raised to the second power, third power, and then the fourth power. So for this one, I want you to recognize the difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. So we can easily factor this, or at least understand that one is also a square number. So we can quickly factor this to x minus one times an x plus one. Now the next one, again, can be understood as a difference of two cubes, because you can always rewrite one as one cubed. So when you have the difference of two cubes, you need to remember the formula. In this case, it's going to be x minus one times x squared plus x plus one. The formula is a cubed minus b cubed is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b cubed. Forgot to say that before. All right, and the last one we can recognize as a difference of two fourths. Now in this case, what we're simply going to do is use the difference of two squares. First thing we're gonna do is we can break this down into an x squared minus one squared times an x squared plus a one squared. Now in this case, we can further break this down as a difference of two squares, and this is the sum of two squares, which we don't have a formula for in our real number system. So therefore, we can factor that to an x minus one times an x plus one times x squared plus one. 